scorpion. Hey guys, welcome back to another house project slash home refresh. We have been going so hard lately with refreshing our home, doing projects around the house and doing full on makeovers. We actually just shared a, I guess it was episode three of our bedroom makeover last Monday. Today we are focusing on a few different areas. One, we are finally going to be working on changing out the mirrors in our bathroom. We just have like the builder grade wall to wall mirrors in here. And not only that, but like, I don't know if you can see, but you can hear it. Like it's not fully attached to the wall. So every time I go to clean it, like you can just feel it bowing against the wall and I'm not sure how much longer it's gonna hang out. So we're gonna actually go ahead and take down both of the mirrors and put up some really, really pretty long mirrors. Then I also want to, uh, the dresser saga continues. We are going to re-refinish the dresser that I worked on for the guest room a while ago, and I am just determined to make this time be exactly what I want. So I need a little bit of touch up for that. And then we're actually gonna be heading outside and doing some things outside. So we have a bit to get done. Let's get into it. I wanna hear you say it. All right, so the very first thing we have to do is actually bring the long mirrors in here and open them up. Fingers crossed, they are not cracked. We never checked them, so we just don't wanna pull down the builder grade mirrors without making sure that these ones are actually good to go. All right, one is good to go. Hair on this. Look how thick that is. And this is the wrong, this is, that's, that's why it came off. This isn't good adhesive. I don't know what this is. So you'll definitely have to go get stuff for, to repair this wall. Yeah, this is way worse than the other ones. the bathroom right now trying to work out a game plan on how to get that black goop off the wall i feel like every time you start working on like a house project there are just always hiccups that you're not expecting like we've taken down so many other mirrors in the house and you would think that it would be the same adhesive but i don't even know what they stuck that mirror on with clearly it didn't work but now it's like cemented into the wall so he's working on a game plan for that and he might have to run out to the store to get something to kind of fix that but while he's working on that i am going to share my new thrive market order with you guys so i've worked with thrive market in the past and i'm so beyond excited to be teaming up with them once again in today's video so i figured i would share my newest grocery order so before we get into the actual haul if you're unfamiliar with what thrive market is they are an online membership based grocery store where you can find tons of healthy options tons of organic foods and they have a lot of like diet specific items so like if you're eating paleo if you're gluten free if you're dairy free all those kind of things you can search for those items and you can actually find them for a fraction of the cost of what you would spend at the regular grocery store so every time i get a thrive market order I'm always saving a lot of money. So on just this order alone, I saved $60.16. Now you can either do a monthly membership with them or what I do is just the yearly membership. It comes out to $59.95 for the entire year. But as you can see, like you make that back. And if for some reason you don't make that back, they will actually credit your account. So you're never gonna come out worse off. But let me show you what I got. So you may or may not know, I have been doing keto, gosh, since like February pretty much. I've actually lost like 25 pounds, but that's one of the things that I love to get on Thrive 
market is actually some keto options. So I will just select keto in the drop down menu and it just kind of pulls all those items for me easily. I can search things for the kids. I can search gluten free options, like all the things. These ones are overnight oats and they're carrot cake flavored. Add in a third cup of oats and a third cup of milk and like you're all the way done. Homemade mashed potatoes. A lot of times when you get bagged or boxed mashed potatoes, they're not very good quality. There's a ton of random ingredients. These ones have organic potato flakes, organic onion powder, sea salt, and organic black pepper. This is gonna taste amazing. And it's by the company Four Sigmatic. They have a ton of really cool companies. A lot of them are typically a lot more pricey, but because you're shopping through Thrive Market, you can actually get them for a fraction of the cost. Little brown rice crackers. I think the boys are gonna have Fun with those and then this is what I've started using for tomato paste they're in a tube so you can keep them in the fridge and you don't have to waste any then I just got some better ingredient packets so I got some for sloppy joes and some chicken gravy these are like a much better for you alternative to like graham crackers or cookie grams or whatever those are called they're so good and the kids love them how delicious does that look I just thought this would be good for like the kids just a more healthier alternative to the regular crackers that they'll have. I always pick up several of these taco seasoning packets. I just make sure I put it in every order. Another thing that's really fun about Thrive is a lot of times they'll have like a special sale or they'll have like a free gift with purchase. These are some of the items that came as like our free gifts. This will be fun to try sweet potato tortilla chips, zesty ranch fry chips. And again, they're going to have like those better for you ingredients. Finish off my order with some late July tortilla chips. These are so, so yummy. I've so far just done a few orders, but I've just loved it more and more every time. But if you have not ever shopped through Thrive Market, definitely check them out. And they're actually going to be giving you guys a 30% off discount on your first order. So that's literally a third of your groceries for free. And then you can also get a free gift up to $60. So definitely a lot of incentive to try it out. And you guys are going to fall in love with them just like I did. So I will leave that link with the discount down in the description box. You can go ahead and check it out. But let's go ahead and see where Kyle is at with everything. All right, Kyle is still here. He hasn't left yet, so we'll see if that's good or bad news. <laughs> okay, so what what has been going on in here? This is tar. This is it. tar? It's not adhesive at all. Like when, when we pulled it off, remember I was pulling yeah, it off and it crumbles? Here, let me show you this. I'll plug it in. Every time we pull something apart in this house. All right, you ready? This is definitely not adhesive. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it just like it? melts. Look at that. I think it's roofing tar. Jeez. It's real sticky, smells like it. It's gotta be. Well, and I think the weird thing too is you would think that even if they do something weird, they would do it weird that same way throughout the house. But this is like our sixth mirror or something like that or fifth that we've taken down and they've all been done like a little bit different like one was not glued at all one was like glued <laughs> yeah. a little bit one was glued like a, a glob every amount. yeah it was just ridiculous and then this one is tar just tar stuck to the wall for some reason <laughs> yeah. i wonder why that mirror fell off because <laughs> yeah i mean this this gets hard and brittle and yeah we should have just heated up the mirror and then shoved it back on <laughs> i don't know what they're doing we can park the car beside the beach Start a little fire and share a drink Underneath the stars we'll learn to dream We've been kind of messing around with this. So this was our test spot right here and it's actually looking good. This is like a bigger pain up front, but I don't think, fingers crossed, we're probably not gonna have to retexture everywhere because Kyle was able to figure out if we use a heat gun, we can, he can like scrape it off. It kind of comes off that way. And then there is a bit left over, but we went to Home Depot and picked up some painter's rags. It's mostly like old t-shirts and I don't know, various other <laughs> rags. And if you use the heat gun and like wipe it, you can actually wipe a lot of it off and then you're left with just like a regular texture. You can't really even tell the difference now. So I think that he got it figured out and that's just the plan now is to go ahead and wipe all the rest of these. And then once we get all of them all wiped off, we'll go ahead and be able to start painting 
And then once that's done, we can start putting up the mirrors. I don't know if we'll end up getting to the mirrors today or if that'll be a tomorrow thing. Probably tomorrow because we'll want the paint to dry, but we're making some progress. So although we did have this hiccup, it was really exciting to be doing this project because we have done a lot of things to this bathroom ever since moving in a few years ago. So a few things that we've done is we have actually painted the entire bathroom, all of the walls. We also painted the cabinets. If you've been here, you might remember they were actually like a dark, dark color and very scratched up and everything. We ended up putting in these quartzite countertops, which was actually just left over from the stone that we used when we redid our kitchen several months ago and then we also changed out the light fixtures kind of recently we changed out the faucets whenever we did the counters and then we also added in some hardware onto the cabinets so I really feel like these mirrors are kind of like that finishing touch and honestly this whole tar thing was very annoying at first and definitely added in a lot of extra work in the beginning but it also saved us from having to retexture the walls like we've had to do in the boys bathroom so in the end it kind of came out as a wash on whether it was more difficult or you know, saved us time. Life's just a game we play. You hold tight to the world you know. The hardest part is letting go. We are painting the walls Benjamin Moore Pale Oak. This is the color that we have throughout a majority of our home. And I know the wall is looking a bit rough, but honestly, it was just a color thing at this point. It looks a lot worse than it actually was because the texture of it matched the wall perfectly. And thankfully, with just a few coats, it covered beautifully. For day two we're gonna finish the mirrors today i'm also gonna try to fix the dresser that i messed up the texture and everything is perfect on here because we were able to heat up the tar and kind of wipe it down we didn't have to retexture the wall and i just went ahead and painted that it did take like two coats in most areas and then like over those one spots we had to go over it a little bit more just to make sure we had like full, full coverage, but now you can't even, that's just the <laughs> shadows from the light, but now you can't even tell that anything was on this wall. So we're gonna pull the painter's tape, pull out the mirrors and kind of see how exactly we need to hang them and fingers crossed, it's not an annoying way. <laughs> it's not a chance to get back up and make amends. Gotta let me, gotta let me try. All right, we have some good news. Oh, <laughs> Instead of the hiccups that we've been having, this mirror is like the best way to hang up a mirror. Basically all around the entire mirror, it's like a ridge. So the whole thing just has like this little groove. And then they give you these pieces. So you just have to level this. You put this on the wall, however you want. And then you just 
tuck the mirror kind of over that and that's what supports it. But the nice thing is then like you can slide the mirror across it because this won't be attached to the mirror. It's like so super simple. And instead of Kyle having to try to like one-handed super awkward hold up the mirror, it came with this styrofoam for packing but it's basically the same size as the mirror except the mirror has just like the outside ridge. But this way we can like very easily figure out kind of where we want the mirror. So I kind of struggled with figuring out exactly what style mirrors to put up in here because our vanities are different sizes. They also are kind of different heights. Like the sink area is obviously the same, but where I have my sit down vanity area, that is actually lower. And so we needed to figure out a mirror that would work for both sides and be able to fill this space nicely and not be, you know, too big or too small. But I ended up loving how these mirrors ended up turning out. And I've said this before because we've done a ton of bathroom makeovers on my channel, but changing out the mirrors are such a great budget-friendly bathroom DIY. Really anytime, but specifically if you have builder grade mirrors, just you know like the ones pressed onto the wall, anytime you add in a custom mirror, you will be amazed at how it completely elevates your bathroom and you can do this on a pretty small budget depending on the mirror that you choose. All right, I'm loving how it's turning out. So just to kind of stabilize it a little so it doesn't bounce or anything or shift, we are going to use command strips on the bottom of the mirror. So a lot of times whenever we put up mirrors or things like that, even if they're held up in another way, we'll usually put a command strip just to kind of stabilize it a little. Pot. I got it for actually half off, so it was two dollars at a thrift store. Look how pretty. Let me know what do you think of this? Do you feel like it made a big difference in here? I know in person, I feel like it made such a big difference and Kyle has felt the same. I just love the custom look of these and just how much it really elevated the bathroom. Also, if you see the reflection of our bedroom in the mirror, we just recently shared episode three in our bedroom makeover and I love how it's turning out. It's coming together so well and I'm so excited to continue working on that. But before we go on to our next project, I did have a question for you guys. I just wanted to get your opinion. So we have a coffee table in 
in our living room. And we got this during the time where a lot of things were back ordered. It was really hard to find furniture back during like 2021. And so I ended up getting this coffee table and I love it because one, it was very affordable. Two, I love the size and style of it but I wasn't crazy about the color and now it's starting to show quite a bit of scratches because we have a lot of kids and pets and all the things. So I am actually planning to refinish this and I wanted to get your opinion. Do you think that I should go for retiquing it like I did to our bedroom dresser in last week's video or do you think I should paint it with maybe something like Beyond Paint? I'm not sure. I'm kind of going back and forth in the two options, but let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. Okay, so if you remember, I got this dresser and I sanded it down to raw wood, but then it just ended up looking like too kind of orange because it's a pine dresser. I painted the drawers green. I'm not totally sure what I think about the green. Basically, I'm going to end up selling this anyway. At least I think I'm going to end up selling it. I don't think it's quite like the style that I was hoping for. Anyway. I want to finish it and kind of paint wash it. So what I have is just French linen color from Dixie Bell. It's really a pretty, pretty color. But what you do is you add 30% paint to like 70% water and then you just mix it all up. And it's basically just going to do be like a light, light color on your wood. You can still see all the wood graining and everything. It can just kind of like change the tone of the wood. So anyway, that's what I have in here. I'm going to go ahead and just start painting it on. And then once we paint that on, we're going to grab a paper towel and just wipe any excess off. And then that will give you the paint wash look. Once we get this all paint washed, I'm going to go ahead and I'll be able to put the drawers back in and then see if I like that color or not. And if I want to repaint those or just kind of leave them as is. Since I'm just reselling the piece. I am not super worried about it because they can always go through and like repaint the drawers whatever color they want if they want to, but we'll kind of see how it goes. So I feel like outside it does not look as yellow, but in person it's a lot more of like that orangey wood. So you can see right here this strip and also right here. I just did like a quick paint wash on these two sections so you can kind of see how it's going to look. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest. I don't know a single thing that I haven't done to make you notice me. All right, I know I've said this before, but don't trust the camera. I feel like it looks so gray right here, but it really is not like a crazy gray color once you wipe it all off. It really just ended up neutralizing the wood tone and kind of making it feel a little bit more, not quite whitewashed, but kind of along those lines. And I also feel like the camera is doing a spectacular job of not showing how truly orange the wood is looking, but trust me, it totally looks better now. And it actually ends up making the green color kind of feel like it fits the dresser now. I don't know what I could say to convince you to hang around when you don't have to. There's so much that I'm still keeping to myself. Okay, that actually looks so cool now. Like it definitely toned it down, made it a little bit more neutral to kind of fit into a lot of different homes versus just like when you have full on pine furniture, a lot of times it just looks very, very orangey and almost like a cabin feel sometimes. So that's kind of the vibe this one was giving off. So I'm gonna bring the drawers or at least like one out so that I can just see what exactly it's gonna look like with the drawer. I definitely like it better than it was before. <laughs> All right, so this is the color that I had before. Actually, I like it a lot better with, I think because the green has like some gray undertones and then now we have, you know, like we've paint washed this. I actually like it a lot. So I think I'll bring this inside and put the drawers in. And then once we get that brought in, Kyle and I will put some pavers out here. Girl, I know what's 
All right, what do you think of this dresser now? If you saw our vlog last week, I believe it was, you saw that I ended up selling both this dresser and the other one that I just refinished that I've had in our garage for like a year. Oh my gosh, the dresser saga has been a whole little thing. But I also ended up sharing that we found the perfect dresser for the space and it was only $50. And of course, I triple measured this time and thankfully the third time is a charm because the new dresser that we have currently in the guest room is perfect. I'm probably gonna refinish it, but I love the style. All right, that feels super good to get that dresser kind of off of my checklist. Here is basically where we're gonna put the pavers. So that's the pool side, this is like the yard side. We have scorpions here. The rocks are, you know, get really hot in the summer and everything. And so what we end up doing is basically trying to, you know, stand on the concrete over here and then jump into the yard. And it's just like an awkward distance. And so Kyle and I went and picked up some pavers the other day, and we're just gonna put two of them right here. That way we have like a stepping path from the pool to the yard. So we're not gonna do anything crazy. We're not gonna like cement them in or anything. We're just gonna set them in and kind of move the rocks around them. We got these pavers from Home Depot and I really loved them. They were really the only ones that kind of like stood out to us. I love the organic shape of them and they were a little bit more on the pricey side. I believe they were about $9 each, but thankfully because we only needed two, we were able to fit it into the budget and I just love them. There's a little scorpion. Where? It was a baby one. Was there really? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like in here. So unfortunately, we never found that little baby scorpion. I hate knowing that we are getting back into scorpion season, but I'm happy that now the boys don't have to worry about walking over the rocks. They can instead step on the pavers and not get stung. But anyway, I am loving the addition of the pavers. I just feel like they finished off the area so nicely and I'm so happy with all the projects that we got done this time. I also wanted to remind you to check out that deal that I have down in my description box for Thrive Market. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you in the next video, which I will be sharing lots of homemaking motivation as well as DIYing that coffee table in one way or another. So don't forget to let me know your thoughts on that below. Bye guys!